Let's talk about the switch function. The switch function is a nice little bonus that Excel offers, opposed to a lengthy nested if formula. Now you could use the ifs function instead of switch, but ifs is probably better suited for more logical operations. Comparing operators like greater than, less than, is when you have a static value that you want to return a result for, switch will take that messy calculation and make it much smaller, not only helping you create the formula, but to help those looking at your sheet for the first time who aren't as familiar with it. It's very simple to use and a function you should familiarize yourself with. So let's take a look at an example. In this first example, we have a list of movies and the various star ratings belonging to them. What I wanna do is use the switch function to return a text string recommendation based on the star rating. Of course, there are other ways you can use a switch function to make it more dynamic, but in this case, I wanna dumb it down so that way everybody can understand exactly how it works. Now, just a heads up, the star ratings are in wingdings format. And as you can see from the formula bar, each star is represented by these double left facing arrows. And I only point that out because as we write the switch function, it'll make more sense exactly what I'm doing. So let's get started. To create our recommendations, we'll start with the switch function. And the first argument here is expression, which is the cell that we're going to evaluate. So we choose our cell B2. And the next argument of switch is the value. So what value are we checking for in B2? Well, the value we're checking for is our star rating, represented by those left-facing arrows. However, because of the format, we have to put those within quotes because it's not an exact number. If instead of a five-star rating, it was just the number five, we could leave it as five without the quotes. So with the next comma, our next argument is the result. So if there are five stars, what do we want it to return? And in this case, our recommendation is must see. Now all the remaining arguments are exactly like the second and third argument of switch. We set a value to check for, and if that value is found, we insert our result. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of these, and then we'll take a look back at the completed formula. Okay, so you can see here that we have the five stars resulting in a must see, four stars resulting in get your ticket, three stars resulting in not bad, two stars resulting in eh. And then finally, I could have put one star and let the result be pass, but it kind of works like an if function where Excel will recognize that there's only one argument in this set of the switch function. So it kind of takes it as if nothing else is returned or none of these other stars are matched, it'll return pass. So with the closing parentheses, I'll go ahead and hit enter. We have must see. I'll just take that, drag it down, and there you go. Now, if we were to create a dropdown for our star rating and switch these up, our formula would automatically update to give the appropriate recommendation. For our second example, we wanna calculate the Christmas bonus for each employee of this company, which will be reflected in column F. And then in column G, we'll have that total calculating the bonus and the salary together. Now, just a little background here. We have the years employed for each employee and they have a separate tier status based on the time they've been with the company. And depending on their tier status, their bonus percentage of annual salary will change. So let's start our formula. And the first thing you wanna do is we wanna take the salary and times it by a percentage. But since that percentage is gonna change, this is where we'll use the switch function. So we enter our switch function. The expression will be the tier status, our value, Tier status is one, we wanna return 20%. Since these are whole numbers or decimal numbers and not actually text string, we don't have to use the quotations. Now if the tier status is two, we want the bonus to be 15%. Tier status three gets 10%. Tier status four will get 7%. Tier status five, which we do not have to identify because this will just be the last remaining bonus structure if none of the others are found, will return 0%. Close off the parentheses, hit enter. Do you see here we have our 10%. Drag that down. And there you go. So down here, tier status number five for Kumar Patel, who has been at the company for less than a year, gets no bonus. Lamar Whitfield, an accountant who's been with the company for four years, is tier status number one, who gets 20%. So this is just a great way to work with static values when you want to return multiple results based on the value. 
hope you recognize the power of the switch function has to offer. Obviously, there are many ways you could perform the same kind of functionality, but it never hurts to have options. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for future videos just like this. Thanks for watching.